Hello everyone and welcome back. So in our previous two lecture, we learned some theorems on Laplace transformation and some standard results. Now in this particular lecture, lecture we will do some examples depending on or using those what standard results and theorems. So problems are very simple, but uh, provided you have to know all the standard results and theorem. Now see, this is the first example where f of t is given as 6 sin twice t and then what 5 cos 2t. Now first of all, we have to think that which uh, standard results we have to use here or which formula we have to use here. So you all know that Laplace transformation of f of t is denoted like this, what f of small s. Okay. Now here we see two things. One is one function is sine, another one is what cos. So what is Laplace of sine at and what is Laplace of cos at. So these two formula we have to know. Okay. So when it is sine, it is a divided by what? S, uh, S square plus A square. But if it is cos, then it is S divided by S square plus A square. So we have to remember these two results. Now, in the solution part, we will write like this, Laplace transformation of 6 sine twice t minus 5 cos twice t. I think you still remember that uh, we have one uh, linearity property, right? Linear In linear property, what we do? We can separate it. This is of the form C1, F1 of t, and then C2, F2 of t. So what we did there, 6 ko bahar lana hai, then Laplace transformation of sine twice t, और जो next integral है उसमें minus 5 को भाल लाना है और क्या लिखना है Laplace transformation of cos twice t okay so 6 is constant then it's simple यहाँ पे formula use करना है so what is Laplace transformation of sin twice t here a is हम आज यू सी a is 2 so it will be 2 divided by s square plus 2 square and next one is cos so here a is again how much a is again 2 so it will be s divided by s square plus 2 square. So if you want, then you can take LCM also. So it will be S square plus 4. And how much you will get? 12 minus what? 5S. So this is the answer. Okay. 12 minus 5S. So this is a very simple one. Okay. Next, uh, next let us take one more example. Suppose now the function is 2t square e to the power minus t. So in the same way, I will start Laplace transformation of 2t square minus e to the power minus t. All right. So let us first uh, separate it 2 into Laplace of t square. Next one will be Laplace of what e to the power minus t. Now we have to think that which formula we have to use here. So there are two formula. One is t to the power n. So I think you still remember it is n factorial divided by how much? S to the power n plus 1. And what is Laplace transformation of e to the power a t? This is 1 divided by what? S minus a. But see, if it is e to the power minus a t, then it will be how much? 1 divided by, if it is plus a, then it is s minus a. Now it is s plus a. Just simply you write the formula. 2 into so this is of the form t to the power what n so here n is how much n is 2 so it will be 2 factorial divided by s to the power 2 plus 1 is 3 and this is simple s plus a so a means how much nothing is there so 1 so 2 factorial is 2 so it's 4 divided by s cube minus 1 divided by what s plus 1 okay now you see problems are very simple Okay, now let us take one more example. Suppose here f of t is given like this. Uh, t square plus 1 whole square. So before doing the problem, we have to uh, expand the formula. It will be t to the power 4, 2 t square and then what? 1. So now let us find the transformation. Laplace transformation of t square plus 1 whole square. So this is Laplace transformation of t to the power 4, 2 t square plus 1. Okay. So using linear property, let us write them separately. 2 is constant, t square 
and then last one is what one so this is of the form t to the power four means t to the power n so n is how much four so it will be four factorial divided by s to the power four plus one is five again this is two factorial by s to the power two plus one is three and this is the first standard result, right? Laplace transformation of 1 is what? 1 by S. So it's 24 by S to the power 5, 2 to the 4 by S cube, and then what? 1 by S. Okay? Let me see, simple. All the problems are very simple. Example number 4. Let us take f of t like this, sine t, minus cos t whole square so again before starting the problem let us expand it it will be sine square t plus cos square t minus 2ab means sine t and what cos t okay so sine square t plus cos square t kya aega 1 or 2 sine t cos t ka formula kya tha sine twice t now let us take the transformation sine t minus cos t what whole square so Laplace transformation 1 minus sine twice t. So if we split it, 1 will be Laplace transformation 1. Next is Laplace of what? Sine 2t. So Laplace transformation of 1 is 1 by s. And this is again what? Sine. So formula is a divided by s square plus what? s square. Okay. So see the problems are very, very simple. But yeah, you have to remember all the standard results and theorems. I think you still remember there is one uh, fast translation or shifting property. Do you remember that one? So let us uh, do some examples by using that one. So Laplace transformation of f of t is what? f of s. Then if 1 e to the power t comes, this one is called what? Fast translation or shifting property is equals to how much it is? f of s minus. So these type of problems are a little bit more important because one because of this what additional term because sometimes students get a little bit confused. So that's why these type of problems are a little bit important. But see problems are very very easy. Don't worry. So I'll go very slow. Just observe how I'll do the problem. Suppose we have to find the Laplace transformation of t cube and e to the power minus 3t. So here, this e to the power, this is e to the power what? This is e to the power at and this one is what? f of t. So we'll write like this. Here, f of t. f of t is how much? t cube. So first we have to find f of t. Which one is f of t? Then we have to, and what is, what is a here? Our a is minus 3. So let us find the Laplace transformation of f of t first. So it's simple Laplace transformation of t cube. So this is of the form what t to the power n. So it's n factorial divided by s to the power 3 plus 1 is how much? 4. So this is nothing but 6 divided by s to the power 4. Okay. Then we have to write like this. We know that. Okay. We know that Laplace transformation of e to the power a t and then f of t is equals to how much f of s minus a so here this is our this is our f of s okay this is f of s so now let us observe what we will write e to the power minus 3t and then t cube which is our f of t so it will be f of s minus s minus a so what is our a a is our minus 3 so it is minus minus plus 3 Okay, now you observe this. What is our f of s? This is our f of s. So if it is s, just observe it. If it is s, then we have to write 6 divided by s to the power 4. Now in our case, here you see what is s. Here our s is s plus 3. So what do you have to write? If it is f of s, then you have to write 6 divided by s to the power 4. But in place of s, now we will write s plus 3. So it will be 6 divided by what? s plus 3 whole to the power 4. Just here, 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 here,
so first what to find we have to find uh, laplace transformation of f of t and then we use what first uh, shifting or translation property so let us take one more problem so that it will be clear to all of you so it's very good if you uh, do the examples with me then you see that uh, the examples are very simple okay so if you just watch the problem then it will not going to help you so parallelly you have to do the examples also okay now next question is e to the power minus t cos twice t so here the capital f of t is cos twice t and a is how much minus one okay now first you have to find laplace transformation of f of t means laplace transformation of cos twice t so this is equals to cos ka formula kya tha? s divided by what s square plus 2 square means s divided by s square plus 4 so this is our f of s okay f of s so therefore by using first translation property e to the power minus t then uh, cos 2t so ye kya hoga f of s minus a so you have a kitna hai minus one so it will become s plus one so kya karna hai jo s hai is this particular s ko kya karna hoga we have to replace this s by s plus one so numerator mein jo s tha now it will become s plus one divided by denominator mein jo s square tha abhi s ke jaga mein kya likhna hai s plus one so it will be s plus one whole square plus how much four okay so if you want to simplify it then you can simplify after simplifying what will get s square twice s 1 plus 4 is how much 5 so this is the answer okay so problems are very simple right now let us take one more example laplace transformation of e to the power 3t sin 4t okay so again here f of, f of t is how much f of t is sin 4t and here a kya hai plus 3 so first you have to find the laplace transformation of f of t which is sin 4t so we have a kitna hai matlab sin ke liye a kitna hai 4 so it will be 4 divided by s square plus 4 square so it is 4 divided by s square plus 16 so ye wala term kya hai this is our f of s now we use translation property e to the power 3t sin 4t so it will be our f of s minus a a is how much 3 so yaha pe hame kya karna hai jaha pe s hai that particular s will be replaced by what s minus 3 so 4 divided by this will become s minus 3 whole square plus 60 okay so if you split it then it will be s square minus 6x six six, then 9 plus 16 is what 25 so this is the answer this is very very simple okay so so i did only six uh, seven problem here because if we do more some more problems then the video will be a little, little bit more lengthy so in our next lecture we will do some more uh, advanced problem or a little bit uh, complicated problem using the other properties okay so i hope you understand uh, the examples of laplace transformation but before uh, doing the examples you kindly go and watch the uh, uh, earlier video so that this particular video will be very much help for you, okay, helpful for you so thank you for watching kindly uh, share with your friends and subscribe